Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here to introduce a new project. This is Women Who Rock and it's a Fantastic Ladies Club project that was created by Cece, Kim, and Ruth. I will link all of their information down in the description box below. So they came up with 20 prompts related to specific women or a group of women. And I, the, the way that they originally share this project was you can do a roulette style project or you can roll everything in all together at once. Because I have two other projects coming up in the next month or so that are also prompt based projects that have more prompts, I decided to go ahead and roll all the prompts in at the beginning of this project. So I had the full year to work on them. So I did not mention this project starts hopefully the day that I'm uploading, which is today, August 26th, if not, sorry. And we'll go through August 26th of next year. And that the reason why they chose the 26th of August, because that is Women's Equality Day. And I love the idea behind this project. These ladies came up with some really creative prompts and I'm so excited. I have all my items here. So like I said, we have 20 to go through. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Hopefully not too long. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read these prompts and share with you the items that I have rolled in for them. I have my iPad over here to help me with the prompts. The first one is Spice Girls, a product you really, really, really want to pan. And I am going with a lip product that I'm really close to finishing. This is by Tom Ford. This is the Ultra Shine Lip Color in the shade Luscious. This is a discontinued shade and I freaking love it. Oh, it's beautiful. By the way, sorry for my nails. I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately. Oh, so pretty. So this is how much is left. And I will mark this in my book, but I probably won't start using this closer to like October, November timeframe, because this is definitely more of a fall shade for me. It's stunning. I love this formula. I love this color. And I'm sad that I can't buy it anymore. The next prompt is Beyonce. Run with the world. Girls, a product from a female owned brand. So I'm going with a product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Flawless Filter in the shade Too Light. So here is my bottle. The This is all flaking off here. So it's kind of annoying for how expensive this product is. But I want to use half of this. Now, I don't, I can't tell you where I am in here at all. I have no idea. I have used it, so it's not brand new. But I want to get use on this. It's an expensive product. And I've had this one longer than I've had, say, the Auric Glow Lust. So there we go. So I want to use half of this. And I'll probably use that as a base to before I put on foundation. I've got another product I'm working on now, which is this little cover effects click stick. And once I finish this, which that's how much is left in here, I will roll in the Charlotte Tilbury. The next prompt is Helen Ready, I Am Woman, Hear Me Roar, a product that gives you confidence. So I am rolling in a concealer. Now for me, I have dark circles, so covering them up gives me confidence. I'm always self-conscious about my, my dark circles under my eyes. So I'm going with a Holy Grail concealer. This is by Lancome, the Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. And this is in the shade Ivory. So I have used this quite a bit. I can't remember if I, like my goal was to use half of this, I wanna say. And here is, I just love this concealer. I can use it now. It's a little bit, well, I could probably use it now. I started working on another concealer, but it's not in a project. So I'll probably roll this in now to work on. My goal is to finish that. Next prompt is Kristen McAuliffe, who died on the Challenger, a rising star. And the prompt for that is a product that rose to the occasion. I'm going with a product that always rises to the occasion for me. This is Mac Fix Plus. So I have so many full sizes of this. I want to finish this and roll it out, which in a year should not be a problem, even though I'm working on like five sprays right now. The next prompt is Rachel Platten, who wrote Fight Song. And you were to bring in a product you have to fight to open or have to fight to use up. 
For me, that is pressed powders. So I am going with this product by The Balm, the Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. Powder? Powder. I really don't love this powder for my face, especially because powders on my face are just not good. So I did, you can tell I do have pan in this. I want to finish this and I want, I'm probably going to use it to set my primer. It may not be the best product year round. But I am working on one other pressed powder and I'm hoping to have it done soon. This may be only like a summer product for me or until like my tan totally fades. So as soon as I'm done with that, I'll roll this in, but I don't think I'll be able to use this during the winter. So we'll see if I can get that finished. The next prompt is Rosa Parks, a standout product. And I'm rolling in my butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. I want to finish this. I am going to repress this because it is getting to be a little bit challenging to pick up product, even though it's kind of all on this one side but I, I want it to be able to be like in the center of the pan. So I am going to repress this, which I think will help with this because I do want to finish this. This bronzer is a bronzer I can only wear whenever I'm fair. So it probably won't, I probably won't start using it until I'm thinking like late November, early December. So yeah, I won't, I won't showcase this for quite some time, but I do want to finish it. Next prompt is Princess Diana, who actually passed away on my sister's birthday, which is August 31st, the, the day of her birthday, not the year. Oh, that was a, I remember being in a bar whenever that was like on the news and this particular bar had TVs and it was like all over. It was just so sad. So for Princess Diana, you were to bring in something tough, but beautiful. So I'm bringing in this highlighter from Anastasia, the Amrezy highlighter. The reason why is because this is a very hard pressed powder, but it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I've used this so many times and you can't even tell. You can barely tell that I've used this, but it's gorgeous. I didn't swatch the bronzer. I'm sure it's okay. It is such a beautiful highlighter. Oh. So I, there's no way I'm going to be able to hit pan in this. I'm rolling this in to use 100 times. <laughs> Let's not be that ambitious. I'm rolling this in to use 50 times. I was going to do 100, but there's other highlighters I want to use. So we're going to do 50 on this guy. I want to get some good use on it. I love it. And I have a year. The next prompt is Anne Frank, something that makes you feel brave. Now, this one was a little bit challenging to find something. Oh, I'm scared about this one. I'm rolling in a Kleona eyeshadow. This is the shade Courtyard. This is a vibrant multi-chrome. And I'm rolling this in to use 20 times. Using a shade like this, I would feel brave. Because I don't wear shades like this. I have gotten okay with green, but this shade of green, a little bit different. We'll see. See if I can hit my goal. The next prompt is Jane Goodall, a cruelty free product. So I'm rolling in something from Hourglass. This is the confession lipstick in the shade, my one desire. So here is my component. This is a product that has no use. So there is the shade. It's got a cat hair on it. Let's get that off. And I've mentioned in previous videos, my Cleona lipsticks are starting to go off. So I need to use them. So there's the shade. It's stunning. It's a little, little bit too light for me right now, but in a month I'll be able to use this pretty much consistently. I am rolling this in to finish. Let's see if I can do it. These don't have as much product as a full size lipstick. And that's the reason why I want to roll it in to finish. So that's what I'm going to do. And they go pretty quickly because they're pretty creamy. <laughs> lofty goals guys lofty goals the next prompt is martina mcbride this one's for the girls and you were to bring in something that makes you feel beautiful so i'm going with a perfume this is by juliet has a gun it's the not a perfume scent 
This is lovely. I recently, and you'll see this in my June haul, I found one of these as like in TJ Maxx and I couldn't pass it up. The price was amazing. So I have two of these now. I love this perfume. Love it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Mm. So yeah, I want to use a quarter of this bottle. This has 100 mils. 3.3 ounces. The next prompt is Katy Perry Roar, a product that makes you feel fierce. For me, that is a red lipstick. So I'm rolling in a, like my, probably one of my oldest red lipsticks. This is by Pat McGrath. And it is like her original lipstick in this tube component. This is Blood One. And the shade is stunning. Now I think... My goal for this is use a third. And I think because this is a kind of creamy lip product that there's the shade. It's gorgeous. That's in the skinny tube. I don't, I don't, I think it'll be easy. Not easy. I think it'll be doable. Let's just say that. So this, let me show you how much is left in here. So that's how much is left. So I think I can get to there. I think so. <laughs> we'll see. Next prompt is Sacagawea, a product that helps out your skin or makeup look. So I'm rolling in a primer because that's, I feel like that helps me with my makeup. And this is my favorite, one of my favorite primers, one of them by Becca. It's the first light priming filter. And of course you can no longer get this. And I want to finish this. I have had this for a long time. I don't know if I've had this one a long time. I mean, I've had it long enough where it needs to get used. It has not been touched. So I want to finish this. Next prompt is Frida Kahlo, a pop culture product, could, or it could also be a Latino brand or Latina, excuse me, Latina or Latino, but Latin, you know, Latin, Latinx. So I'm going with a product from Rare Beauty. This is, I don't know the name of this product, but it's like their glossy oil. And this is in the shade Nearly Mauve. I freaking love this product so much. Oh, it feels so good going on. It's just a light wash of color. There we go. Oh my God, I love it so much. I certainly have a smell. I want to use half of this. Oh my gosh, what am I doing to myself? Yeah, half. We're going to try it for half. Probably not doable, but we're going to try it. I'm stretching myself here. The next prompt is Madeline Albright. It took me a while to develop a voice and now I have it. And now that I have it, I'm not going to be silent. And you were to bring in a product waiting to be noticed in your collection. So I am rolling in a cream blush. This is by Rose Ink. I don't know. Hold on. There we go. And the shade I have is Heliotrope. This is beautiful. I basically, I think I've tried it once or twice and then I've swatched it and that's it. Now I do have another cream blush that I'm working on now, the Tower 28 cream blush, which I want to hit pan in, but that's a very peachy blush and I needed something pink. Like even for today's look, I was like, I want a pink cream to go underneath my blush. But anyway, that's what the shade looks like. I love this formula. I love this product. I want to hit pan. Pan, baby, pan. Next prompt is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I miss her. People ask me when there will be enough women on the court. My answer is when there are nine. Mm. And you were to bring in a nine pan palette nine times. So I'm rolling in a palette from ColourPop. This is the Orchid You Not palette. And this will be great going into fall, winter. I love this palette so much. I'm going to swatch this on my non-dominant hand. So I'm apologizing right now for how poor my swatches are going to be. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. I cannot wait to play with this in the fall, winter. Oh, gorgeous. So I'll use that one nine times. I'm not going to say that I'm going to use each pan nine times. I just want to use the palette nine times. 
The next prompt is Harriet Tubman, and you were to bring in a product that was a black owned makeup brand. So, or made by a black owned makeup brand. <laughs> So I am rolling in a single eyeshadow from Shine by SD. This is the Highlight Multichrome in the shade Irresistible. Beautiful. Oh lordy. Oh my gosh. I want to use this 20 times as well as the other single I have in here. The next prompt is Julia Child and you were to bring in a food themed item. So I'm rolling in a lip scrub from Lush. This is the Galaxy scent. It's Blue Raspberry Smacker. And I don't love this lip scrub. I find it to be not consistent enough to like stay, like there, it needs to have more oil. But anyway, it's full, has not been touched. Smells amazing. <laughs> Smells amazing. So yeah, once you finish that. Next prompt is Serena Williams. A uh, quote from her is, I don't like to lose at anything, yet I've grown most f not from victories, but setbacks. So you are to bring in a product that you used to hate, but learn to love. For me, that is cream bronzer. And I used to have a liquid bronzer from the brand Tinted. Is that the name of the brand? It was in like a squirt bottle. I always forget. Anyway, I have come to love cream products on my face. And honestly, I freaking love this product. I'm using a darker version of this right now, but I'm going to roll in the lighter shade. This is by NARS, if I can do it right. And this is the Laguna Bronzing Cream in the shade number one. So this is too light for me now. I'm using number two right now, which is stunning. But this will be great for me in the fall winter again. So there's, you can tell, it's just, it's basically my skin tone. <laughs> basically my skin tone. I am rolling this in to use 100 times. I think that's definitely doable because I use this literally every single day. Well, I should say most days that I do my makeup, at least I have been since I started playing with it, with the darker version. So I don't think that'll be a problem. It'll take me several months, of course, three to four months, but yeah. And I would only be able to use it come like November-ish, December timeframe. I love this. The next prompt is Maya Angelou. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like air, I'll rise. A product that gives volume or plumps. So I'm rolling in a mascara. And this is my oldest mascara in my collection. This is, well, full size. This is by The Balm. It's the Mad Lash Black Mascara. I love this one. I usually buy these in like a duo, like two at a time. And I typically find them during the holidays. I don't know if you can find them year round. I really do enjoy this mascara. So I'm rolling it in to finish. I feel like this is a smaller volume of product, eight mils. I have some mascaras that have a lot more than this, but I, it's probably won't take me that long to finish. I love it. I'm working on another full size right now. Well, I should say I opened another full size. I opened the NARS Climax mascara and I'm working on a couple of other deluxe size samples. So once that one is done, I will roll this one in. The last prompt is Marie Curie. I am one of those who think, like Nobel, that humanity will draw more good than evil from new discoveries. And you are to bring in a product that you have newly discovered. So I'm rolling in the only like skincare product in this project that I have, other than the lip scrub. And this is something I recently discovered. This is by the brand Dr. Cerical. C-E-U-R-A-C-L-E. It's this product here. It's the vegan kombucha tea essence. I remember I roll, I brought this in during a haul video and I was like, this is not going to count because I don't have a problem with essences. I only have like one in the morning and this one was going to be my evening essence. And I opened it right away. Like I have opened it. I've been using it. I love this with a fiery passion. It is fantastic. So it's, got this milky component at the top and then the you know the rest of it at the bottom and then you shake it 
before you use it and it like totally combines. This is freaking beautiful. If you have dry skin and you want to try an essence, try this. Oh, daddy, it's so good. <laughs> I love it so much. So I'm rolling that into finish. <laughs> and I will absolutely buy it back up as soon as it's done. So those are the items that I'm rolling into this project. Luckily, we have an entire year to use this stuff. And like I said, I, I feel like some of my year long projects are starting that have like where I rolled everything and all together. I'm starting to like not have very many items left in those. And so I wanted to roll in. I wanted to have one project where I rolled in a ton of stuff. So that's what this project is. And then the next few will be prompt base based. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. And this will probably be a bronzer that I can only wear like once my fade tan. Fade tans? <laughs> oh, Lordy. Next prompt is second. I'm using a darker version of I'm using <laughs> the next prompt is Maya Angel. Oh, wow. I opened the, I op oh, <sighs> okay. Bye.